Megalithomania presents the temples of Megalithic Malta and Gozo Spring Equinox Tour. Join us to explore the ancient sites of Malta and Gozo on this unique tour, visiting all the major temples, museums, cart ruts, underground hypogeums, dolmens and monoliths. One of the highlights of the tour is experiencing the Equinox Sunrise on a specially prepared visit to Manidra Temple to get a sense of what the ancients were really up to. We will also visit the nearby Hagahim. Both sites have sophisticated masonry, beautiful carvings and unique features that most other tour groups miss. On the day of the equinox, we will take a private boat out to experience the Blue Grotto. This natural picturesque grotto and its neighboring system of caverns mirrors the brilliant phosphorescent colors of the underwater flora. Another highlight of the tour is a private visit to Hal Safelini Hypogeum, the oldest underground temple in the world, dating to around 3300 BC, although new research suggests it could be older. It shows evidence of ancient high technology, a goddess cult, archaeoacoustics, and thousands of mysterious elongated skulls were discovered there in 1902 that are now lost. The acoustic oracle chamber has beautiful red ochre spiral motifs and intricate carvings, suggesting this was the work of master masons. We will also visit the massive megalithic temple of Tarshian, close to the Hypogeum, famous for its giant goddess statues and intricate spiral motifs. We will also visit the natural cave system of Gar Dalam, which translates as Cave of Darkness. This dates back hundreds of thousands of years, and potentially Neanderthal remains have been unearthed there. What's even stranger is that cart ruts are located at the exact area of the entrance to the cave. Cart ruts are found all over Malta and Gozo, and we will visit many well-known sites like Clapham Junction and San Juan, but also lesser known sites, and we'll question what they were really used for and who made them. Are they tracking earth energies, underground water, or is it something much more mysterious? Skorba and Hagrat temples are both in a ruinous state, but show some of the earliest examples of freestanding megalithic construction on the island. We will also have private access to Cordon Temple 3 that is out of bounds to most tourists. One of the evenings will have a chance to participate in the Festa of St. Joseph in Rabat that is very colourful and a unique atmosphere. We will also take a ferry to Gozo, primarily to explore the mighty Gigantia temple that is now a World Heritage Site. It is here that we find comparisons to Gobekli Tepe with serpent relief carvings and T-shaped pillars, and also an 8-foot giant skeleton was said to have been found nearby. We will also have private access to the enigmatic Jara Stone Circle, an exclusive visit we have arranged with local authorities. Whilst on Gozo, we will also look at various dolmens and cart ruts and even see the tallest monolith on the islands found in the town of Victoria. Sansuna Dolmen and Gigantia were said to have been constructed by giants, notably the goddess Sansuna, who dropped stones from her apron between Sansuna Dolmen along a ley line to Gigantia and across the sea to Bujiba Temple on Malta. The tour includes all breakfasts and dinners, all transport, expert tour guides and entrance to all the sites and private visits and includes lectures from the hosts presenting new research that suggests the sites of Malta and Gozo are much older than previously realized. To find out more go to www.megalithomania.co.uk